Hey folks, and welcome to a wrap up. So these are the books that I've read. All right, so first we have uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is the fourth one. Um, I think this is the one uh, called Dog Days. Well, for some reason it's um, Deadly Summer in, um, in, in Hebrew, is the Hebrew translation. And I realized I've been forgetting to say who's the translator in all my thoughts videos, so my bad. I went back and put that in the description. And the translator is uh, Tomer Carmen. So my bad, Mr. Carmen. Alright, so this is the fourth one. Eh, this was, um... I liked it. It was, it was quite okay. Made me more question uh, Rolly's... <laughs> Friendship with Greg, if you can call it that. I actually bought this on the sales of June. For some reason, the library, oh, they, everyone took all the copies of the fourth one. So, yeah, it was nice. Now it's going to go to the library. So they're going to have an extra copy. Oops. Then I read the fifth one. Um... Now the translation is um, wait, what is it? Um, ah, the ugly truth. But for some reason, in uh, in Hebrew, it's the facts of life. I'm a little bit confused of that because you could you could just write it as it is. I met a mechoeret. Oh well, I don't know. So I like this one, and it was entertaining. And this is when we met uh, Greg's great grandmother, I think. Great grandmother? Yeah, I think great grandmother in the family. So, yeah, I like this one. Also, it's purple. I love purple. Oh, that one's from the library. All right, and then I also read the sixth one. Um, so, said this, it's called a. A cold str stri strike? Oh. And it, it's different because this one is uh, cabin fever, but here it's um, a cold wave? I don't know, again, I'm, I'm not sure why. So this one was also uh, pretty entertaining. Uh, made me quite worried about Manny. Greg's little brother. I think they're gonna have to start severely punishing him for things. Because at some point he was willing to let his family starve and freeze to death. Damn. He's becoming a diva. Well, that's Greg's parents' fault. It was their doing. Well, yeah, this one was entertaining. And I, I do wonder how this is gonna continue because... And here it was just like two months, I think, in time. And here it was also just most of the winter. So I wonder how they're going to be spread on from here on out. Oh well, I guess we'll, we'll find out. I'll borrow the next one from the library. Then last, but by no means least. Oops. I read the uh, first book in the Erie, Indiana series. Return to Foreverware by Mike Ford. Uh, the, the writer is uh, Jeff Kenny. Here. So this is the first book. That I really enjoyed it. It was, it was a fun read. It was fun like reading the Animorphs, you know. It, it's simple, it's fun, you don't have to wreck your brain too much. And I love mysterious and creepy shit, so this is right up my alley. I forgot to mention uh, that I like this cover. I'll look inside. Because at uh, first, uh, when I got it, it looked, uh, it looked ripped, but you can see that it's intentional. So that's pretty cool. I'll be definitely uh, getting more books from this series over time. I do want to read all of them. Uh, these, are, these were written after the show came out. And they're like more uh, cases in this universe. So that's pretty cool. Then even if you didn't watch the show, you can still read these, I think. They do give you, like, bits and pieces of information along, so it's easy to understand. I like the green. 
Oh, I forgot to. Oh shit. Forgot to bring a book. Show what I'll be reading next. Oh well, no matter. Um. Did I show it last time? Oh well, no, no matter. So this is what I read, and that was it, folks. Uh, let me know if you read the, one of these, or what do you think of them, and that is it. Till next time, bye.